bad time. It was when a that bad thing time. Went up. Boy, turned into a nice day, at least from some of us. But how long is that going to last? <laughs> Not very long. We've had hail in uh, the Delta area. We've had hail in Dugway, the size of quarters. And some of that is heading our way. Now, up in the canyon, this is City Creek Canyon. It is not running at full yet. But it is running heavy and will run heavy, especially if we get a thunderstorm right on the top of us. Now, this is Vortex. Let's go in a little bit closer and notice the lightning strikes were 60 lightning strikes. This just went through Dugway and it did produce quarter sized hail. It is moving towards Tooele. We'll be in Tooele by 615 and between 630 and 730 across the Salt Lake Valley and up towards uh, the Davis County area and also may impact Provo. But right now the concern is Clover. You see this purple area? That is hail. Hail the size of quarters. And again, it is moving towards Stockton and up towards the Tooele region. We also have a thunderstorm near Meadow and Fillmore. It has been severe, but not as severe as it was earlier. In the Salt Lake Valley, some scattered light showers. We do have sunshine right now, but as I mentioned, 630 to 730, everything is going to change and we're going to have some showers and thunderstorms. So we look at the forecast, 58 degrees, thunderstorms at 9 p.m., scattered rain at 6 a.m., 50 degrees, more thunderstorms tomorrow. They will be numerous, briefly heavy and 65 degrees. So it's actually quite warm. And then Tuesday rain showers. We believe the rain showers will be tapering off by the U2 concert time. However, take a jacket along. You cannot take an umbrella into the stadium, but have a rain jacket to stay warm and something to sit on. Lots of rain out to the west and to the south. 54 in Ely, 67 Delta, 61 in Price. Also some thunderstorms in the vicinity of the Uinta Basin. Now this is the storm tracker. We put this into motion. Here we are early in the morning Monday. Slight chance for a little bit of rain during the morning, but look what happens in the afternoon. Two separate storms form, numerous showers and thunder showers during the day on Monday, and then here's Tuesday. Notice by 5 p.m. there is a back edge. That's why I believe most of the rain should be over with by the concert time. Nevertheless, take along your jacket. It'll be in the 50s, low to mid 50s. Here's Eastern Utah. We do have those showers and thunderstorms in the forecast tomorrow. Notice how they blossom up in the afternoon. This is, we're now getting into a summer-like weather pattern. Even though it's in the 60s and 70s, the afternoon sun is very, very warm. It heats the ground and the showers and thunderstorms pop up. You may even have one or two near St. George and numerous showers and thunder showers across central Utah. Seven day forecast, more than 10 degrees cooler than normal with those showers on Monday. And then we have near 90 degrees and wind over the holiday weekend. In the morning, a few showers, numerous showers and thunderstorms. Some could be locally heavy and those rivers are running high. So if we get a heavy thunderstorm on a river that's running high, there could be more mudslides, there could be more problems. Same thing on Tuesday, chance for showers. Rest of the week, we've got an 80 on Saturday and then it turns cooler Sunday and Memorial Day right now, 60s. Okay. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. Jazz staff back from Chicago mm -hmm. and now looking ahead. Yeah, a lot of work to do.